top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for January 19th, 2021. So, hey everyone, I hope you had a wonderful three day weekend, a good rest, and you're ready to get back to business. It looks like the bulls are ready to get back to business this morning after a little tiny sell off on friday we see them pushing back up this morning so we have a lot going on this week with the inauguration of uh, president biden transition of power and we have the ramp up to um, first quarter earnings season so what does that mean for today well how about we buckle up settle in and get ready for the tuesday edition of the morning market prep video so this morning, everyone, taking a look at the markets, you can see that although we had a little bit of a pushback on Friday, you can see that overall we held on to trend here um, in the chart. And clearly we held on substantially strong enough that um, we didn't really even violate price support. We pushed down in here against that price support, but we bounced right off of this trend. And now this morning, we're trying to push higher. So kind of an interesting uh, chart. The bulls are still in control. And we have, we have had that little bit of a test. We had that little bit of a consolidating move here in the market. And perhaps we could see just a little bit more looking at this trend. As you can see, although we did test this price support right in here, notice that we could see a little bit more consolidating move in here over toward that trend before we get that opportunity to push on through. However, with earnings rolling out, it really is going to depend on how these earnings are um, are seen, um, how well they do this morning. And we've already um, seen a couple. Let's take a look at BAC this morning. BAC has reported this morning and is getting a little bit of sell-off. Uh, BAC beat top line estimates but missed on the revenues and although we're pulling back we're not breaking trend in here so perhaps you know even in, in light of uh, the um, next round of stimulus uh, maybe we add that to the list of things that really don't matter um, uh, earnings because we kind of ignore jobs right now we kind of ignore retail sales maybe earnings won't matter as well we should see typically we would see more punishment here on a chart like that but that's not happening and then if we look at goldman sachs goldman sachs now i haven't been able to take a look at the report but i have to assume what i'm seeing here in the price action of the chart this was also a winning report and we're pushing up here this morning albeit a little bit extended, we're trying to push that higher this morning. So Goldman reporting well. Currently Dow futures are just slightly off of their morning highs, trading right around 180 points higher this morning. Let's take go back to that diamonds and take a look and see how we're performing here. So we're holding up um, in this chart and although we're pushed away from that 50 day moving average, notice our 50 day moving average is really starting to surge higher here. That's giving us some better technical uh, a, a little bit better technical appearance in the chart and a pretty decent support level right through here. So just keep an eye on that. Even if we do rest or pull back unless we give up this trend, we're in pretty good shape. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY, although we pulled back here in the SPY on Friday, notice that we held this price support and the same situation is true. We could find ourselves maybe chopping a little bit further over here, finishing up this consolidation, but you never know if earnings report or come out um, strong, we could begin that rally sooner rather than later so watch that closely and i don't think we have any fear here in the market of a breakdown unless we confirm that breakdown of this trend and then the nasdaq had a little bit more trouble um showing here on uh last week as you can see we had a bearish engulfing candle here on thursday we followed that up with a little bit of a failure here on Friday, pushing on through. But notice that that pushback did not break this little price support here in the chart. 
And if you notice, we may be struggling, it depends on where you draw this. If I draw this trend right here, notice that we uh, broke that trend, rallied back and tested the underneath side of it, and then came back into this price support. Um, we also could see this show up as the new trend. So let's watch that closely. And you can see the bulls are trying to push that or reverse that move down um, in the NASDAQ. We we'll want to watch that closely with all of the lawsuits and things going on around big tech. It may be kind of an interesting situation. And what we're also seeing is that rotation, a bit of a rotation out of tech to more of a value type plays consumer durables, consumer staples, um, dividend paying stocks. So that could be of interest here. Let's keep an eye on it. Right now I view the QQQ as the most susceptible and maybe the highest risk of a pullback. And if we take a look at IWM, IWM is staying very, very strong. Um, we saw um, um, strong price action in the financials last week strong price action in um, oil sector stocks like last week and that continues to support IWM albeit you know and when I pull this chart back we we are really getting that look of parabolic in this chart as you can see we're getting very very steep here but as long as those financials and oil sector stocks remain higher I think we're in pretty good shape um, we will have to Pay attention. There was a report overnight of uh, world um, world demand for oil uh, being pulled back. So we'll want to keep an eye on that to see if that has any effect to those oil sector stocks today or over the next couple of days. We'll want to watch that. Then let's take a look at our VIX. Our VIX uh, saw a little bit of a rally um, on Friday and we're still holding on to this little uptrend. And I've mentioned over and over and over that I don't think we have any real trouble here unless we break above that downtrend. And although we shot up there a little bit on Friday, didn't get out of hand at all. In fact, the selling seemed to be very, very controlled. Um, wasn't any major thing going on there. And I would expect to see this pulling back again today. What I really want to see in the VIX is I really want to see this support level taken out. I, reaching new highs and holding above 20 handles is an odd thing for me. And um, and as a matter of fact, I've never seen it. And I think we really need to see that VIX dropping down in here. Um, that makes me a little nervous that we really have to stay on our toes in case that selling wave does come in. So watch that carefully. It could begin at any time. If we take a look at T2122, T2122 is that indicator that shows us how quickly we can see those sellers coming in. And we have remained up here for one of the longest times that I can remember being fueled up on all of this stimulus and hopes of more stimulus could continue to hold us up in this area. But let's just take note that um, we, we have big potential point moves if we do see a sell-off. Remember, we continue to surge and we continue to stretch out. There's a lot of stocks looking very, very extended. Let's hope they can produce earnings to support those prices because if they were to miss or disappoint, we could see some really ugly selling in those stocks. Watch that closely. I don't know that that's going to affect overall indexes, but we should be very um, watchful of those earnings reports and plan carefully around them. So watch this. We have plenty of room right now to move back up. And right now, futures are continuing to climb up. We're almost 200 points this morning, uh, pushing up higher on the back of that Goldman Sachs report. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar really doesn't have a whole lot going on in here. Um, as you can see, very light day. We have the Treasury International Capital here. 
at the bell today. Um, so not much happening there. And we have housing market index on Wednesday. Keep in mind, we have the inauguration of President Biden um, um, on Wednesday. So we'll want to be keeping an eye on that. We could see quite a little bit of activity um, around that, maybe even a little bit of volatility. Um, so keep an eye on that. And then we ramp up some of these um, important numbers as we hit the end of the week. We've got um, housing, we've got jobless claims, we've got um, the Philly Fed, we've got PMI, existing home sales, petroleum status. All of those have that potential of moving the market around toward the end of the week. So we kind of pile them up right here um, all at the end. Um, with the inauguration ahead. So let's keep an eye on those as we move throughout the week. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now our earnings calendar is really going to start to ramp up. More than 20 companies or right at 20 companies reporting earnings today. Um, and if you want to catch the entire list of what I believe to be notables, um, make sure you click that link just below the title of this video. You'll see a link that takes you back to the morning blog and a complete list of those notable reports as we ramp up. So let's take a look at a few of those today. We have IB uh, KR interactive brokers reporting this morning um, and looks like they're experiencing a little bit of lift here today now one thing I will again mention here we're seeing a lot of these stocks uh, very very elevated if any of these were happen to miss on uh, top line or revenues um, the pullbacks in these could be swift. So make sure you're checking these earnings dates very, very closely. Every time you think about buying a trade, selling a trade, make sure that you're checking earnings dates um, because we could see some powerful mo moves, particularly on the bearish side, if they should happen to miss. So watch that closely. Um, but IBKR looking good this morning. Um, this afternoon, we're going to get um, our first big tech um, stock with Netflix reporting today. And you can see Netflix has been struggling. And it's kind of an interesting situation with um, all of the streaming wars that are uh, happening out there. Netflix holding along a support level in here, but struggling in this little bit of a downtrend. Kind of an interesting situation. Who knows what, what will actually happen here, but watch that closely. That could be an interesting report today um, as the streaming wars continue to ramp up. Um, we already mentioned Bank of America, Goldman Sachs, and included with that, we have Schwab. Um, Schwab will be reporting today. Um, looks like it's trying to perk up this morning. And then we jump over, we have um, some oil sector. We have Halliburton um, reporting. We'll have Pets reporting. Zion will be reporting. So just keep an eye on this. We've got quite a few things that could potentially move the market around. And, um, and once again, if you want the complete list, go to that blog um, and you can catch that complete list today. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. You know, besides the morning market prep, I put out a lot of training videos, um, uh, um, over 950 videos now on YouTube. And I just got to say thank you so much to everyone who um, does support the channel. Um, just um, yesterday, we passed 17,000 subscribers. So thank you very much. You guys humble me um, every day as I read those kind comments. Thank you very much. And um, if you believe this video was worthy, if you could do me a favor and click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment, and then of course, always feel free to share this video out on your social media platforms. That helps us to continue to grow, and I want to say thank you to everyone who does do that.
So let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up. And remember, these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, um, everyone should do their own due diligence, focus in carefully on these stocks, make sure they fit you personally um, for a potential trade. So let's take a look at, at some of these. Um, take a look at Qualcomm. Now I've been keeping an eye here on Qualcomm. This is gonna report on 2.3. And if you notice right in here, I set a price alert right in this um, little consolidating area as we were trying to perk up through here. Notice that we popped through, pulled back. And if we get some bullishness coming in over the next couple of days, notice we could kind of slide over here toward the trend a little bit. But um, we could see that Qualcomm start to perk on up and move higher. Keep an eye on that chart. I think we should also keep an eye on these oil sector stocks, or I mean health sector stocks. Um, health sector stocks have been doing quite well. And you can see CVS, although it's going to report on 210, is showing some bullishness here this morning. And notice that we broke through some significant resistance in the chart. We still have some resistance above to deal with, but CVS holding up overall, and you can see trying to push on through that alert this morning. By the way, this is the pre-market candle right now. So we're trying to push this up this morning in the pre-market. Keep an eye on CVS. It will be alerting today. Um, you also might want to keep an eye on um, Papa John's. Papa John's has been setting up in a nice little consolidating move. Notice we have an upside trend moving on here. We've broken through some resistance. We're consolidating this range up here. We do have some resistance obviously over here that we need to be um, aware of. But as this slip, slips and slides over here, this could uh, zoom on out. And we know uh, pizza and delivery pizza has been very, very popular um, during the pandemic. So let's see if Papa John's can follow on through to the upside. Keep an eye on that. Take a look at Spotify. Now, Spotify really fell apart. We broke through some resistance levels up here, and it looked like this was ready to zoom on higher. Now, we're down here testing some support and a trend right now. We had a pretty ugly day on Friday. So let's watch this one closely. If we can find some support in here, we still have that opportunity for this to lift off of that area. But don't be too surprised. This could be one of those stocks that could slip below its trend, slip below support, and then we begin that possible downtrend. So keep an eye on Spotify. This could go either direction we'll want to keep an eye on that take a look at um utilities xlu now kind of interesting this is an xl the an utilities etf when the market gets a little bit nervous a little bit scared of a uh, possibility of selling off, we typically see utilities perking up. Notice here we've got utilities trying to lift up a little bit here here and this morning we're popping in that pre-market candle pulling back a little bit but we're trying to break through some resistance here in the chart what i like about this chart overall is that we have broken this downtrend we're holding it as support we're holding some price support in the chart and this easily could start that move back higher and as we see this rotation back into more of that um, a little bit of safety, a little bit of a value play. Utilities might be a place to look. Keep an eye on that. It's looking pretty decent here overall. Take a look at Pan W. Pan W also, Palo Alto looking really, really good here. Holding in this upside trend, doesn't report till 222. Notice that we're consolidating this resistance level right here and we could easily pop through. Now, this stock is at blue sky highs. Nothing here above to present any resistance. So if that can get some follow through here, we might want to take a look at that uh, for that push up. Another place that I think is kind of interesting to look is we've seen really, really strong moves in retail. And as you can see, Target has moved up strongly here in this trend. And although we're starting to get a little bit of a consolidating rest in here, keep an eye on that. If that retail uh, still continues to hold up, we could see these stocks starting to push higher out of these consolidations. So watch that closely. It'll be an interesting thing to see if we can push that on higher. And we're seeing that at lots of these retail, KSS, 
um, UAA, Under, um, Under Armour, holding up really, really well. Um, even seeing um, bullish moves in Macy's and Gap Stores, um, Abercrombie, all showing bullishness. So lots of that going on. We might want to keep an eye on those. Um, take a look at, um, this is kind of an interesting chart, IBM. IBM, it's not something I have had an opportunity to talk about in a long, 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 long time. But let's keep an eye on this. IBM's going to report on 121. So it's really not something I would be interested in trading right at the moment. But keep an, take a look at this. Um, we are pressing against a substantial resistance area in this chart. One thing I know about stocks is the longer a stock is held down by resistance if they can finally break it then they stand uh, the chance of a pretty substantial uh, run to the upside and that's because all of a sudden they garner a bunch of um, eyes um, on this breakout so watch that closely you can see we've been consolidating this resistance here as we wait for those earnings that's also a good sign um, so we just want to wait and see if that can pop on through and hold and then there may be some upside potential in IBM something worth paying attention to, I think, and putting on a list. Um, other than that, take a look at a stock like Cisco. Now, Cisco has been one of those tech stocks beaten down. And although they own much of the technology uh, that make uh, WebEx and, and all of these um, stay-at-home streaming things work, um, they've kind of been overly punished here. Notice that we have a, a rather bullish pattern here, breaking this downtrend. We've tested and held support in this downtrend, and now we're starting to move just a little bit higher. You can see break just a little bit higher and pushing on up. Now, I will tell you, I have a bit of a bias on this because um, I actually own Cisco right now. So take that into account, but watch this closely this could be one of a, a bit of a value play for that upside move so keep an eye on that chart so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits it's fun to get after a three-day weekend everyone enjoys a three-day work weekend but if you're like me you're ready to get back to work so everyone have an awesome one and we'll see you right back here bright and early wednesday morning have a great day everyone